Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah from the Automator, and Isaiah and I both, you know, I use AutoHotKey Studio, and he's using VS Code, and often I'm still in sight for AutoHotKey, and it's sometimes really problematic that we work in different editors, and we want to dump some output to a window. So, uh, over the weekend, I played with this code, and we made it where it's very easy to have one function that regardless of what editor you're in, you can dump output to and look at your code. So we're going to walk through that here real quickly. Exactly. So in different uh, editors, you might have noticed that they might have output windows uh, here in Studio is at the bottom uh, section. Same with site. If you select uh, the option of output, it would have a, a little window down here. And in VS Code, we also have this kind of like output debug window. Now, okay. just right. to, real clearly, you're, you're correct. They are the debug window, right? In right, all they're usually for debugging I purposes. Them for, <laughs> exactly. you know what? I have some text. I want to be able to see it. And, and instead right. of creating a whole new GUI, what if we had a quick way to do this, right? Exactly. So, so now we just created a small, uh, script i just have a hotkey that is going to trigger this action and you will notice that here on the right side you will notice when i press f1 here on the on the right side i get this text that is the one that i have in this function now i'm going to use exactly the same function but this time i'm going to have hk studio actually activate it and what is going to happen is that the the function will determine that i'm in studio and will actually send the text to studio instead um, same happens with site and in the off case, you know, that you are in an editor that does not have a window, like say, for example, you're in notepad, what the script is going to do is that it's going to open a new window and just dump the thing in there. Right. So if, uh, the script finds a, or well, the function finds, uh, an editor that does not have an output window, then it would just simply create one for you. So this way you have the same function um, and across your scripts. And it doesn't matter who uses it when they go ahead and take a look at it or use a, an output window, whatever, it will be displayed in their editor, whatever that editor is. And if not, it will just show a little box, which is great, right? Right, well, that was where you and I, like I said, we're both actively working in different editors all the time. Right. And we regardless, you know, when we would say, hey, run this, we would always have to go make a minor tweak. It's not a big right. deal. Either but, the message like, box. Why, yeah. why don't we just change this to have it automatically, you know, adjust? Um, right. It's something I should have written years ago. And like, you know what, let's, and it, and it was a couple minutes of time, right? So that if you're right. using a different editor, um, chime in below. If, if enough people mentioned it, maybe we'll add, you know, that to the list of these things. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, uh, let us know if you uh, have problems with this kind of stuff. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. It helps us out and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. There you go. Cheers.